2017, as you heard, my youngest of four boys was diagnosed with a rare terminal, terminal brain tumor called diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, DIPG. Devin was in kindergarten and given just nine months to two years to live. My family traveled all over the world trying to cure him, trying to create awareness for a disease that no one had heard about, and making lots of memories with whatever time we had and we were even lucky enough to be blessed by our Pope. We had an army that rallied around us, that fundraised for us, that cooked, that hugged us, that supported us, and who were just there for us. Our community embraced us, and the world cried with us when we lost Devin just nine months after his diagnosis. I had been with my husband since I was 19 years old. I was married for 15. We had good times and we had really bad times and I forgave a lot, mostly for my four boys and I forgave a lot because I believed he didn't mean it. When my youngest son died, my obligation became so clear to my other three boys. I wanted, I needed them to grow up to be strong, respectful, kind, loving, happy men and what they were seeing at our house was not a normal marriage. And I certainly did not want them to think that what they were seeing was how you treated your loved one. After Devin lost his very courageous battle, things started to unravel and go into a very bad downward spiral. Uh, in one year, I buried my son and I lost my marriage. And what I thought, was my future. But good or bad, I have always said, everything happens for a reason, and I truly believe that. There are no coincidences in life, and every single that thing that happens is a piece in our puzzle in life. I stand here before you today for a reason, and I stand before some of the most inspiring, motivating, driven women. Because of extraordinary women, I am able to move forward. I am moving forward in a way to help other families fight this awful rare disease called DIPG in supporting them the way we were supported. Because of, this amazing, of these amazing women, many who are here today, I'm launching a business called Meant to Be to help motivate and inspire other people and help overcome adversities and life challenges. And I'm able to continue with my skincare business, helping people with their skin and kind of think outside of the box. Some of these women came into my life during our very difficult journey and were with me during my darkest hour. Some I've been lucky enough to meet today and the rest of you I can't wait to meet. I may not have been empowered for a while for some of the years of my life, but through a series of tragedies, it has led me to find a purpose to help guide and find resources for others in their darkest hours. I truly believe life is about learning and loving and living. It takes a village and I'm so glad and honored and proud to be a part of this village. Kind, empowered people are stronger together. Thank you so much for honoring me today. I can't wait to see you next year and I'm grateful to be here. Thank you.